Bob goes up for a look and takes our second camera with him. It could have all the hallmarks of, of a trap. You can see we're in a, a lonely place. We're in a place where it's impossible to see anything. I mean, you know, we, we haven't seen the, 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 the situation other than from the air. It is, I'm told, um, partially hostile around here. There again, it could be a drop point, it could be a collection point. If one of the bombers is watching and waiting for you or your, your colleagues to go close, where could it be watching from? Because we can see most of the area around here. Well, the problem is the man who watches is not necessarily the man who activates. I mean, there's a high hill over there. Now, the man there could watch. Uh, he's not necessarily the man who, who, who commands the situation on the ground. So it's, um, you know, it's a system of when I blow them, my nose, do something. They call in the search team, garrison troops who will go over the ground looking for signs of a trap. OK, fine. OK, spread yourselves out now. Just get out of the way. There's so many um, cow tracks yeah. that it would take us hours to literally go right the way around I, the area. We're not after right the way around no. the area. So I want just to get out to that bush. All I want is to get out to the rest. Is I'm going to go through there after my court will have said this. Yeah. All right. Coming that way. Well, the, the search team have arrived. You can see them here. The, the NCO in charge has been up to look at the, the, way, the route, see what the story is, and he thinks he's seen a wire running out across the fields. At the moment, his corporal's gone back up to give a second opinion, and we might, might well now find that instead of him clearing a route for us down this way to our target, he's going to have to clear the field first. Because if there is a wire there, we now have, well, I, you know, I mentioned earlier, this possibility of somebody watching and waiting. So we've now gone into the next dimension. And these lads will may take two or three hours to, to eliminate that factor. What could the wire lead to? Who? The ah. wire could lead to a terrorist. A terrorist with a button and a box. Simple as that. While the searchers fan out through the fields, there's time to reflect on unseen enemies. The thinking was just think about the bomb itself. You mustn't get tied up with the man who, you know, why, why he does it. I think I can understand why there is a Republican movement. I can understand why there were the freedom marches early on. It is hard to understand why a total stranger would like to kill you. Very deceptive this was. This is a, a beautiful summer afternoon, Isn't a country cool? lane. Yeah. Just feel like yeah. relaxing, don't well, you? Well, you feel like showing grass and sitting on the bank, but uh, you just don't know. I think this is this is the big problem. You you don't know. It's it's it's, it's a strange war, isn't it? You don't know who the enemy is. Right. And it is so pleasant and peaceful. At present. The search team have almost reached the bags. As soon as he can reach forward and touch these bags, that's enough. OK, come back. For the 20-year-old engineer who inched his way up to the bags, it's been a frightening 40 minutes, worrying all the time about possible booby traps. Well, I might just be down tonight. Sorry? I am, I do Hang on, let's take the camera. There's these four plastic bags, four white plastic bags with orange markings on it, and that's it. What are you going to do to get to them? I have to you know, look very carefully where you're going, look for trip wires or anything that may have been, any ground that may have been disturbed. And that's it. Having seen it, what do you think of it? No, it's, it's not too bad once you start. You know, it's just concentration. You've got to be very careful not to make any mistakes. Better when it's over? Yeah. Pass me the tape. The path has been cleared. Now it's up to the bomb disposal team. 
they decide to prepare charges that will blow the sacks up completely. That's why I left that end, actually. Well, you want to come in there, don't you, so as it goes both ways. Or else if you get a break there, surely the whole thing will, uh, will fail out on you. This way, at least you're bound to get one of them. When the bang comes, if it's a sharp crack, it'll mean the bags were innocent, a hoax. But if there's a rumbling boom, that'll mean the bags did contain explosive. And that will add one more to the 6,000-odd bombs dealt with in Ulster so far. There seems nothing left to do but pick up the pieces for testing. We all think it's safe, but we're wrong. No, sir, it hasn't been cleared. Pardon, sir? It hasn't no. been cleared. This is all right because of the blast. The blast gone clean over the clock. There's a piece out there, but that was stone. Well, Deep in the bushes, laid beyond the reach of the explosion, Bob has noticed another package. Out! Back! 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 had the most dangerous job today. Me or the little lad who went in and searched, really. It is dangerous in that at one moment in time now and again you're standing next to something that could go off bang. What difference to life here in Northern Ireland does it make that you have, you and your team have dealt with that thing? Very little, a bit less explosives for the, for the terrorists. But other than that, it's a minor incident really. In that case, the army reacted quickly to the finding of the bomb. But with country bombs, they don't always have to. One can afford to ignore them in some instances. Uh, there is a, a meat van down on the border at the moment that was hijacked, oh, I think now about six weeks ago. It wasn't blocking a road, it wasn't uh, blocking a vital security forces route. On this occasion, we decided to ignore it. There was no reason to go there. And gradually, one finds, after a couple of wreckies, that they've moved it back about six feet to let the traffic by. And finally, I understand, a couple of days ago, they have moved it completely off the road so that the, the road is now open. Now, uh, some poor man has lost his meat van by the IRA. Uh, it didn't, it wasn't a come-on situation. There was no need for us to react to it. So we do have the option. Was we, the meat van full of meat? Well, I understand that the, the air is a bit blue around it at the moment, and you can't get within about 30 yards. But uh, if, if they put it there, they can take it away. Uh, it's as simple as that. Which would you prefer to face yourself, a, a bomb in the town or one in the country? I don't think I have any preference at all, uh, but I know some operators do, uh, for example. The chaps that work in Belfast get a city complex. We, we call it a city complex. I think they get a sense of security with the walls of the buildings around them and being able to get really tightly behind their Saracens and their pigs. The call is to an optician's works. Two time bombs were diffused there in a small storeroom last night. Now they've spotted something else. Watching men under stress, Hemingway said that courage is grace in adversity. The adversity for Nigel now is substantial. After being out on hoaxes all night, with a headache from breathing nitroglycerin fumes on forensic work, imprisoned in a sweltering suit, he's going to have to squeeze into a small room where a bomb's set to go off, nobody knows when. Where's Dial? Can you check Dial's got two bits of kid I asked him for, please, Wait! Well, I haven't seen any device, but I've seen where they've broken in, yeah. where they've piled the spectacle cases in sort of a bonfire, yeah. and put a rubber tire on top. Yeah. But whether there was anything at the bottom of the pile, you I wouldn't know. say. Uh, and I, needless to say, I didn't look. <laughs> 
Okay, we'll have a look around for you. Have you any idea why the bomber should have picked your storeroom? No, no, no reason whatsoever. I can't imagine why at all. I employ both religions. I have about 70 of a staff, approximately 35 Catholics, 35 Protestants. Some of the staff, I don't even know what religion they are, so I can't understand why. They don't need a reason. They just pick anywhere at all, anywhere that's convenient. What do you know about the building? You were in there last night. I wasn't. Mr. Cooper was in there. Yeah. I know the way in I've got to, uh -huh. to go in. Upstairs, downstairs? It's upstairs on the first floor. In fact, it's a, there's a little entrance just around the corner here, yeah. which I can go up some wooden stairs mm -hmm. and then over a bridge along to get to mm -hmm. uh, this device. And there are a lot of boxes, cardboard boxes. I've been pulled down in And they've been pulled down on, on it. it. And they've moved some of these. Yeah. And they're in. So I think they found the device underneath yeah. it. I'm quite happy about it. Your chap's got the area clear. We've got the area completely cleared now. Nicely tied off down there. His thoughts now are concentrated. The very final thing that I do before I go forward, when I have to go forward, is to say to myself one final time, have I got it right? Am I going in the right way? Check this. Are you getting anything there? Yes, perfect, sir. Absolutely now? Yes, sir. If I, uh, right, finish, I'm going to do a little jump. Still no problem. Self-preservation is a strong instinct, but whatever drives Nigel now has to be stronger. You've had okay. tremendous self-discipline drilled into you, and I had this drilled into me at Santa, right. so. You've been trained, uh, and you've been trained over a long period of time. Inside self-discipline, outside constant reappraisal. We know the way in is safe, uh, because someone came out only about half an hour, three quarters of an hour ago, uh, we know that the building has uh, been attacked last night, and you, uh, the, one of the features of these type of attacks is that they normally put multiple devices in there. They don't normally rely on just one, one device. Uh, so there's every possibility of there being another similar uh, device in there. Is it a, an incendiary? Well, uh, at the moment I wouldn't like to say what it is. It's a small container which uh, they suspect can, uh, holds a device. We'll have to wait and see what it is until he comes out. They expect an incendiary, but the pile of boxes or the tyre may be booby-trapped. Only Nigel can find out. On his first inspection, he's found a remote way of shifting the tire, so he's a little safer, but not much wiser. I cannot see anything underneath. Are you putting that on the rubber tire? I'm pulling that on the rubber tire to get the first thing out of the way. Right. Could be a long job. But it will indeed. There's going to be weights and things as well. So you can't see it from outside anyway. Pardon? You can't see it from outside. I might be able to if I get up in that top flat there, but it's very difficult. So I'll go and have a look. If they can get a view into the room from a distance, they just might be able to defuse the device by shooting at it. We can't see it right there at all. The ATO has been around the back of the building, uh, where there are three windows through which he should be able to see the device or the placing of the device. Uh, in other words, what's covering it and so on and so forth. But uh, unfortunately, the windows are so dirty that although you can see the window very, very clearly, we can't see inside it. Uh, so what he's going to do now, because the, uh, the line he has on it is, is um, fairly deviously rooted out through the building, he's going to try and straighten it out a bit so he's got a much straighter pull to see what can happen. This is to pull the stuff off the top of the this device? This is to try and pull the stuff off the top so that he can see if there is a device there or not. <laughs> All right, that'll do. We'll certainly move. The next step must be back into the room to try actually to uncover the bomb and lay a charge against it to defuse it. Uh, wait a minute. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> there is so much going on that you really don't have time to worry about anything. You know that if it's going to go off, if it's of any appreciable size, then it will get you. He'll be recording everything he does so they have a precise record of his actions. Right, I'm walking forward now, about to enter the building. 